All right, in this video, this is T's Workbook Hints video number 17, and we're going to talk about converting from percents to fractions, as well as converting from decimals to fractions. What is the difference? There is a big difference. Percentages and decimals are two different ways of expressing numbers. Over here in this example, we have 31.2%. We want to write that as a fraction, and then we're gonna simplify. Whereas in this example, we have just 31.2. We want to write that as a fraction and simplify as well. These two examples are completely different because over here we have a percent, over here we do not. 31.2%, even though you see a decimal there, this is a percent because we have the percent symbol. Over here, 31.2, this is just a decimal representation of a number. Two completely different numbers. And just to reinforce here, these problems will help you with section one of my T's math workbook, working with fractions, decimals, percents, also simplifying fractions. The most up-to-date version of my T's math workbook is 4.01, and that was just updated in September of 2021. So this first example here, 31.2%, we want to write that as a fraction. I know you see a decimal there, but again, this is a percent because of that percent symbol. So whenever you have a percent, I don't care what that number is, how it looks, you can always put that number over 100. A percentage is always out of 100. Now we want to simplify this fraction, and we also have to take care of this decimal that is in this numerator. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's move this decimal how many ever places we need to to the right to make it a whole number. We're moving that decimal one place to the right, and that's gonna give us 312. Now, how many ever places we move the decimal to the right, that's how many extra zeros we want to add to our denominator. Now remember, this denominator already had 100 in it. We move the decimal one place to the right to make this a whole number, so that one extra place means we need to add one extra number. Now notice over here on the calculator, if we take this first fraction here, 31.2 divided by 100, 31.2 divided by 100, we get this decimal here, 0.312. And if you are familiar with converting percentages to decimal form, you can either move your decimal two places to the right or divide this number by 100. So this right here is the decimal representation of 31.2%. Notice we had that same decimal here. Well, look at this red fraction, 312 divided by 1000. Look at it, same decimal. Now let's work on simplifying this fraction. Now, could we divide by two? Absolutely, because the numerator and denominator are even. Could we divide by four? It turns out, yes, you could. Could you divide by eight? It turns out you could even divide by eight. But I tell you what, since we're also talking about simplifying fractions here, there is absolutely nothing wrong with taking smaller steps instead of trying to figure out the biggest number to divide by. Both of these numbers are even. Let's divide them by two. 312 divided by two is 156. 1,000 divided by two is 500. Now you could divide by two again since both of these numbers are even. I'm gonna go ahead and divide by four. Now if you didn't know that, that's totally fine. You can divide by two, but you still would have to simplify further. So what is 156 divided by four? Let's find out. That's gonna give us 39. This is our numerator and our denominator, 500 divided by four, that will give you 125. This fraction will not simplify any further. We can't divide by two, we can't divide by three, four, five, nothing. This is totally simplified and we can check our work quickly to make sure we have the same decimal. Let's take 39, we're going to divide it by 125 and check out this decimal that we get here. 0.312, which is the decimal representation of this percent. Now on to this one. Write 31.2 as a fraction. This 31.2 is totally different than this 31.2%. This is a percent. This number here is just a decimal. 
If you have just a decimal and you want to convert it to a fraction, you put it over one. Why do we do that? Well, check it out. If we take 31.2 divided by one, we get 31.2. Any number over one is itself. This is the difference between converting a decimal to a fraction and converting a percent to a fraction. Well, now how do we simplify this? We take a very similar approach now. We're going to make this top number a whole number by moving the decimal one place to the right. Sometimes you may have to move two places, three places, whatever. We still get 312. And how many ever places you move the decimal to the right, add that many zeros to the bottom. So this was originally over one, but since we did move the decimal one place to the right, let's add one zero to the bottom. This technique will always work. Now let's work on simplifying this. Both of these numbers are even, so let's divide them by two. And if we take 312 divided by two, that sounds familiar, we did get 156 over here. And now 10 divided by two is going to be five. And this fraction will not simplify any further. It's okay if it's an improper fraction. Don't worry about converting it to a mixed number unless you were told to do so. Let's check our work real quick. Let's take 156 divided by five. So 156 divided by five, we get our original decimal number, 31.2. With that in mind, that's how we can always take a fraction and convert it to a decimal. Take your fraction, take your top number, divided by the bottom number, this will give you the decimal representation. Just like over here, 39, divided by 125, this gives you the decimal representation of this fraction, 0.312, and that is the same thing as 31.2%. So to recap here, when you're converting a percent to a fraction, put that over 100 and simplify using these techniques of making the top number a whole number, adding a certain number of zeros to the bottom, and then when you're converting a decimal to a fraction, put that decimal over one, do that same technique of making the top number a whole number, add the correct number of zeros, and these two techniques will always work. And there you have it, several topics here, percents to fractions, decimals to fractions, simplifying fractions, heck, even converting fractions back to decimals. All of these tips here will help you with a good chunk of what section one covers in my T's math workbook. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.